in hard times, in difficult times, the reserves gives us the ability and the confidence to react swiftly, to stabilize our economy and to save jobs. And this is the vital difference between Singapore and, for example, Greece and Portugal. They don't have reserves. So they have to borrow money from other countries, from the markets. And when confidence drops, as it is now, the interest rates at which they have to borrow this money goes up to unsustainable levels, over 10%. Nobody can borrow money at 10, 15% and hope to be able to either to pay back in full or in order to promote growth. And that is why the financial markets are losing confidence in the European currencies. The Singapore dollar is very strong. There are some problems associated with a strong Singapore dollar, but by and large, better a strong Singapore dollar than a weak Singapore dollar. There are always problems in the world. We must know how to deal with both of them. But our reserves are critical for Singapore's stability, particularly in these crucial times. The coming weeks and months will be trying for Singapore and for Singaporeans as the world works through these financial contagion problems. And the custodial responsibilities of the President, as set out in the Constitution, are therefore an extremely important part of Singapore's economic governance especially over the use of our financial reserves. So with the global economy facing grave difficulties and uncertainties, the next president will take power in Singapore, which will see very real challenges some of the most important of which will be economic and financial challenges. And that is why, after a great deal of thought, I have resigned from jobs which I love at GIC and SPH to run for the president. Because I feel that in these uncertain times, in these difficult times, we need a president with deep experience in the financial world, in business, with a steady hand, with a right temperament to work with the government, all political parties, all society to get Singapore through this next crisis. And I've worked, I've been a minister for 23 years in the government, I've headed five ministries, and I've also worked in the private sector as chairman and CEO of OCBC, just across the road, I think. <laughs> Your, you will be friendly competitor. <laughs> and of course, also chairman of Singapore Press Holding. So I've experience on both the government sector and the private sector. And I think this gives me ability to have insights which uh, will help to get through this problem. Because as a CEO or chairman of a private sector company, you know, there are different pressures. You know, there are deadlines to meet, there are bottom lines which you have to meet. That's quite different. And I think it's always a real challenge. Government has got other responsibilities, more wider. But I think it helps, in my case, to have experience in both the public and the private sector. And this is why I think that with my experience, with my background, I have to run for the president so that I can work with the government give my views, and uh, because I know the ministers well, I think they are able to work with them, and also in the private sector well, so you know, I can exchange views, not only with the government sector, but also with representatives in the private sector, because they know that I understand their problems. 
If I'm elected as a president, I will represent all of you, Singaporeans, and our country. Both at home and abroad, with confidence and dignity. But I'll do more than that. I will and I believe I can help to create opportunities for Singaporeans and Singapore businesses, particularly overseas, because the President also has a diplomatic role in leading business delegations. And that is why you need a President with a stature where other world leaders can respect so that he can open doors for Singapore businesses, Singaporean businessmen to go abroad and expand our economic space and thereby bring more benefits to Singapore and benefits to Singaporeans. And in these difficult times, of course, <coughs> I will exercise the important custodial responsibilities of the President, particularly in the protection of our reserves with great care because our reserves are our rainy day savings. We should not use them unless they are absolutely necessary. Your all finance pro professionals. And as finance pro professionals, you know, you understand the importance and the value of experience. You know, no one uh, has really knows how to run the business until you have gone through a downturn. Right? See what is the impact. A uh, recession. That gives you steadiness. That gives you the, back, the background. In good times, anybody can run the business. The question is, can you safeguard your business and steer it through uh, downturn. That is the critical part. And this is the real test for the government, for the president, for our people, for unions. Can we steer Singapore through the next downturn, as we have done successfully in the global financial recession in 2008 and 2009? And to do that, we must not only make decisions for the immediate future, but we must have a long-term perspective. We cannot mortgage the future for present gains. The long-term perspective must always be at the back of our mind. And we know that the decisions that we make today will affect not only us, it will affect our children and our children's children. So these are decisions with very grave consequences. But we must not be disheartened. Yes, there are dark clouds on the horizon, unfortunately becoming darker and darker almost every day. The storm is coming. We don't know how bad it will be. But our fundamentals are strong. I remain convinced that Singapore's best days lie ahead for us. With the right leadership, cooperation between the government, employees and unions, we can face the future with confidence. We need not be, ap be apprehensive. Why do I say that? Because the future is not inevitable. With hard work, with cooperation, with determination, we can shape a better future. Together we can work for a better tomorrow. A tomorrow which all of us can greet with confidence for the future. Happy National Day and thank you very much.